goodness. And I can see where, it, before too much longer, I will be falling. So, as ever, I don't think I have my ladders really in the best place. Huh. Man, this is so familiar, isn't it? This is like over, <laughs> over at home. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Got two ladders left, but I don't really want to use them. At least not here. Huh. Probably... Probably want to move over. I'm not sure what I want to do. Huh. Okay, that's an unanticipated development. I should have anticipated it. Seems like, it seems like this game has nothing but ravines lately. Got chalk full. But lo, it's light. So, let's go ahead and enjoy the benefits of this light. Got a lot of cows here. Don't have any way to make leads though, because I haven't found... I have not yet at all found... Um, man, that looks kind of neat, doesn't it? Huh. Slimes. I haven't found slimes. So, we didn't have anything more fall from here. No... Crap. Okay. Let's chop down another tree. This is just so unfortunate. I love these trees. I love these trees, but they just don't give up give up enough of its uh I hear a skeleton. Ah! Wretched thing. I have to take care of that or it's gonna take care of me. No. Is he gonna come in? No, no, ah! He's just gonna stay in the water, isn't he? Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> Leap and a kill. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> Is this right? Yeah. No. Oh, wait. What direction am I going? Uh, I think I've been... Oh, it's confusing. These trees are kind of confusing. Oh, well. Hopefully, I can move up this tree and... If not, I guess I can just... Uh... Yeah, I think... I think let's do this. It's a little messy, but so I want to move up. So I want to place that there. There we go. And, and then I want to place one here. That's correct. Okay. That, that up. That this. to go up any further. I'm as far up in this tree as I need to be to grab his little wood bits. Chop, chop, chop. I do actually like trees and, and I'm kind of intrigued. I'm, tr I'm intrigued with the ways that trees are able to protect themselves from uh, certain kinds of creatures. They don't do very well against us. <laughs> they have they have not found a way to uh, protect themselves against humans, but they have found some pretty intriguing ways to protect themselves against uh, other kinds of creatures, like their sap. Their sap has a way, you know, that, that the whole reason why they have sap, as, at least as far as I know, is to protect themselves against, uh, against, is that another sapling? against insects and I'm guessing they they in part drown the insects with the sap and I guess the sap acts as a fungicide as well you know to kill off fungus which I think is probably their very worst enemy a tree's worst enemy goodness knows I, I've seen a lot of um, funguses attacking trees you know when you see when you see a fungus attached 
you know, like a, a something called a shelf, a shelf mushroom will attach itself to uh, to the side of the tree, you know, its trunk, and uh, I guess slowly work on killing the tree. Whoop. Hello. <laughs> Although I don't, I don't know if that's the fungus's intention to kill the tree. You wouldn't think that would make any sense, or if it does, or if maybe it does so so very slowly that it allows. Oh, good! I'm getting a lot of saplings now. That it allows for the uh, the tree to reproduce before uh, before it dies. Maybe that's how it works. Because otherwise, you'd think that the fungus would be killing off all of its food. And then, the, and then eventually the fungus itself would die out. Those are the kinds of things that you know, the little microorganisms organisms have to consider. It's probably one of the reasons why most most things that invade our own bodies, not not the sort of things that will kill us, just make us wish we were dead. <laughs> I'm almost out of uh, that. Oh, and here's another sapling. So how many? Oh, 12. Man, that's awesome. Okay. And that's not all of them. I've got three more here. Very good. Very good. Oh, and there's another one up there. Gotta have you come to me. Come to Papa. Not that I'm Papa Tree, but... <laughs> okay. Take these, take that, this, this. I can leave this here. Yeah, I might decide to do something with that. Um, I can leave this behind. I'll leave the dirt. I'll leave my little outpost here. I will take this wood with me and these planks. Birch, I don't care about. I've got plenty of more of that where that came from. Let's head back. And maybe, maybe the thing to do is to head all the way back. Let's go home. So we'll return to Pig Island. And then, and then we'll return to Spawn. I think that's perhaps the thing to do. And I'll make a bed. That's what I really should do is make a bed at pigs at uh not pig island but at spawn because I've got I've got plenty of wool over there, tons and tons of wool. Do you know the way to pig island? Do 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 do. Yeah, I do. It's right here. <laughs> that would be kind of funny if I forgot my way to to uh, the pig island outpost. Which I'm beginning to wonder if I have. But no, I seem to remember. Yes, I remember this. A little bit of a thing to cross. I ought to make a bridge. I did make a bridge, but just not here. Wait. Yeah, I remember this. So I'm not too far from where. I'm not too far from it. There's the bridge. So I need a, I need a different bridge then. Or I just keep doing what I've been doing. There we go. That is weird how unerringly I found this. Whereas usually I would struggle a tad. Okay. Hide you away. Pop you away. Slowly gain gaining five of those. And... Yeah, pop that over there. Pop goes that over there. Lots of dark wood. This is awesome. And now I have the saplings to go with it. All right, let's head over there. Let's head to spawn. There's my trail. I'm making pretty good progress here. It's not quite everything I want it to be, but I'm not doing badly. So I've cleared, I've cleared the trees off from this trail, which makes it a little bit easier to get by. So many pigs. There's a boat. That would make things a tad easier. Hopefully. 